Assalamu alaikum welcome back to the channel today we are going to discuss another data structure in C++ which is Q and we will try to keep it aligned with the data structure available in STL the Q available in STL so Q is like the Q the person comes first will get the benefit and benefit first and the person comes after will have to wait for his turn for example if I have inserted element like 1 2 3 then 1 will retrieve first and 2 and 3 has to have to wait for their turns so the functionalities then which I'm going to implement are push function pop function front back empty full and uh, these are like push will push the element in the our queue pop will uh, remove the element from our queue front will be pointing to the very first element in our queue and uh, back will be pointing to the very last element in our queue empty function will check uh, whether our queue is empty or not and the full function will check for the heap memory allocation but whether our heap section of the RAM gets full or not then the copy constructor will create the copy of our object and then the assignment operator uh, do the same as copy constructor destructor freeze all the memory uh, allocated in our uh, queue and make empty make all the queue empty uh, make all the remove all the elements from the queue so now first of all i will uh, take the node part in order to have the link list uh, type of structure for them uh, so first part will be the data part which will be generic and then the node pointer pointing to the same structure so we will have now the uh, two over constructor first one is the default and then i will have a parameterized constructor which will have two parameters like uh, the data part will have that well value and the next part will have that and value so i can't assign this any kind of value because uh, if there if we want a queue of string type then uh, assigning it uh, it's like uh, zero or anything will uh, will just uh, make a clash in our you know, uh, the constructions so we can't assign any kind of value because it's generic we don't know whether it's going to be uh, integer or string so we can't assign it any value but we can assign this as null and it is a good practice to assign it null because uh, what are element insert insert in the queue will be the very last element in the queue so it's a good practice to give it null then our uh, class for the queue comes in so queue class will have uh, two data members first one will be the pointer to head and then the tail uh, so the purpose of taking two uh, so i will have to justify your template here as well so uh, the purpose of taking two uh, data members head and tail uh, is that uh, if i only take head then the insertion is going to be at the very last in element in our queue for example if i uh, have uh, like one two three then if i keep only head pointer then i have to loop through all these elements in order to insert another element like four i have to go through uh, these four uh, three elements in order to insert the four but if i take the tail pointer then the tail pointer will always keep pointing to the very last element in our queue so now we will just simply insert an element after the tail so of uh, tail pointing to three then if i want to insert four then i will insert the element after the tail mean three and then i will make that element four as the tail so uh, coming up to our public part and uh, if we just implement it we will get a very clear look so first of all the constructor will just initialize our head equal tail equal none so it's an indication that uh, when the copy when the object of our class uh, created uh, the there is no element in our cube so first of all the push function so push function will take in as a generic type reference of well value and this is going to be inserted in our uh, step uh, in our queue sorry so first of all i will take a temporary pointer which will hold the value that has been inserted in so allocated in memory on the heap so the uh, well part will go then to the well part and the next part will has to be null uh, so it's by default null so we don't have to specify it's so now there are going to be two scenarios first of all the uh, the scenario comes in that the if the queue is null 
then our head and tail will be pointing to the same element because it is going to be the very first element in our queue. But as the uh, as comes the second element, the uh, the tail will uh, link uh, the link to the very second element, but uh, and tail will be pointing to the second element uh, as then. Uh, but the head will not be pointing to uh, that element. So uh, if we write like head equal equal null, this will check uh, check that the if the head is null. Then what we're going to do is we will make head equal tail equal ten. So uh, this is going to allocate uh, the, uh, the make the very first element which is inserted our uh, in our queue because the head is null. So this element now being inserted as the first element. So head is pointing to the uh, very first element. So then uh, if the if this condition does not hold true, then what are we going to do is uh, then we are going to link the next part of the uh, tail to the temp and then we are going to make the tail equal temp so what i have done here is that uh, if there is no element in the st uh, in our queue then the head and tail will be pointing to the very first element I mean the uh, the value that has been inserted uh, let's see our case that uh, if we have inserted one then head and tail was pointing to the very first element now comes in the element two uh, so now tail and head are pointing to the one so tail next part is pointing to two uh, now we have a link between first and the second element and now we will make the tail equal to so tail is now pointing to the very second element now comes in the third element we will just uh, we will just see that uh, this condition will not hold true and this condition will come true so tail next part mean tail is pointing to this element tail next part will uh, will be pointing to this element now there is a link between one two and three second and third element has been linked so now we'll make tail equal this element so as the uh, so now the tail was pointing to the very last element so uh, in this way we will uh, keep on inserting the values and there will be also a link and then uh, we will also have that uh, insertion uh, very properly and then we will uh, implement the pop function pop function will just simply uh, take our temporary point node and make it as head uh, and now what we'll do it uh, so we will have to so in pop function we will just remove the uh, the value that has been uh, present and different and uh, we will move the head to very next part and remove the value allocated for the first part so uh, moving the head part to head next part this will move the head to the very second first part and then uh, we have took this temporary pointer which is pointing the very head which was the first element so if we delete temp then the memory for the first element has been removed so uh, then we will implement our front and back function so front function will be constant so it will just return the uh, whatever value present at the head so same is the case uh, for the back function the back function will just return the value present at the, at the last it make a, uh, the value at the tail is going to be the very last element in our queue so then uh, if we um, now to make the two functions empty and it will check whether our uh, stack is uh, queue is empty or not so uh, if the at equal equal null mean the it should return true else it should return false and the same function is going to be the full function we will just allocate us some memory on the heap and in this way we will just We have this memory location at the heap, so uh, we will just check if temp and return false because the memory has been allocated, and else return true because the memory is not being allocated. So now uh, we are done with our. We are very much done with our full and empty. Now we will implement our destructor. We will just make our destructor here. Okay, while 
not empty keep on calling the pop function so this is it for our constructor and uh, now we will implement our uh, copy constructor uh, which is like q so as i have told you in the uh, previous video that uh, the one of the constructor is going to uh, is just called uh, for example if we so we have to declare this at the very end because the because it, it was not recognizing those empty and pop function uh, because they were declared beneath uh, uh, the destructor so we will have that object q here passed on so uh, as one of the uh, three constructors is called so uh, when the copy constructor is called then our default constructor uh, this one will not get called so um, we will first make the operator equal to and the purpose of making this first will be clear to you in a while so we will just take a temporary pointer like this one we will just copy it and uh, it will have the head pointer so while uh, temp is not equal to null what we will do we will just keep on calling the push function and keep on pushing the value present at the temp so initially uh, temp was pointing to head so uh, the value first will push on will be the uh, very first value of this uh, queue object so we will just then move the temp to its next part so now temp was pointing to the second element temp will if the temp will not be null then the second element will push into our stack and then uh, when the uh, temp gets null this while loop will get terminated so now we will just uh, implement this functionality in our uh, in our copy constructor and then we will just simply call operator equal to and pass on this object uh, we don't have to rewrite this all this code uh, again so this is very much it for our uh, queue class so if we uh, just create a queue object and i will make it of type integer if i push two three values in uh, here so while q dot not q dot empty get me the front element and then just uh, keep on calling the pop function So now I am just about to call this uh, run this code, but before uh, I have just seen that uh, this tail was not declared as pointer. So we have to uh, put a static here in order to make it as a pointer to this uh, node. So this is it. We will just run our code now. And we will just create another copy of the same object and we will just loop again by the reference of that second object we have created so if i rerun the code in order to uh, make sure that our copy constructor is working fine so we can see that mm, there are elements like first second and third then the first second third for the second object as well uh, so this was it for our q in stl uh, c plus plus so stay tuned for further videos uh, i love it